going deeper and deeper into the dark, cold depths of Antarctic waters. And I start to think about how long it's going to be before we reach the bottom. It can be 20 minutes, 25 minutes before we get down there. So it's like a very long, slow elevator ride th down through the ocean. Usually about 20 feet off the bottom, we get our first glimpse of, you know, an undiscovered world. And it could be anything. We're hoping to get deep into the wet LC, maybe even below 65 degrees south. There's really very little known about the wet LC. It's so difficult to access it because it's completely covered in ice most of the time. In 2018, I went with Greenpeace and we had hoped to go deep into the wet LC, but we didn't get much further than 63 degrees south. It was completely iced in, the sea ice all the way to the horizon in every direction. There is reported much less ice this year. I have some expectation that we really will be able to get down. We're here using a small two-person submarine to do our work. I became a submarine pilot because it's important to be able to show people what is down at the bottom of the ocean. We need to show people what is at stake. We're here not just supporting scientific research, but also gathering images and stories that will help build a movement strong enough that we can get the policy action needed to protect our oceans and our future. We're trying to improve the protection of the most vulnerable parts of the seabed around the Antarctic continent. The ocean around Antarctica is owned by no one. No country has a legitimate claim to any part of the Southern Ocean. It is everybody's responsibility to do their part to make sure this pristine and beautiful rugged environment and all the life that lives here is protected. I'm the chief scientist for this expedition. I specialize in the benthic invertebrates or the creatures that live on the seafloor around Antarctica. This is my ninth expedition to the Antarctic. This is my second expedition working with Suzanne Lockhart. She's really the queen of Antarctic vulnerable marine ecosystems. She's the best possible person we could have on board with us. It's difficult to get here. It's very difficult to do work here. A lot of times the whole area is covered by ice. Uh, there's fog, there's huge waves, there's storms. It's not, it's not very easy to work in Antarctic waters. Any new science is making a real contribution to what we know about the region. because we can either, we're here, we could stop relatively here because there's another canyon here, which we've never dived. When we were as far south as the 64 degrees latitude, we saw no sea ice on the horizon and calm ocean ahead. So we decided to keep going and see whether we could reach 65 degrees south. Being way out there deep into the wet LC and seeing no ice was very alarming. I had been that far south once before and we broke ice for days to get there. Good morning. I have heard reports from colleagues that some vessels have made it down that far south. When we reached 65 degrees south and conditions were still perfect for releasing the sub, it was certainly with mixed feelings that we got ready to do a dive. 
if, if yeah. you do find we can use this big one. Um, yeah, it might get cold and brittle anyway. You guys excited for a record breaking time? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. That is very exciting. So we're about to dive in the Wet L.C. Uh, we are south of the 65 latitude and to our knowledge this is the most southerly submersible dive that has ever been done. I have been here in the Weddell this far south before and um, it was sea ice from horizon to horizon and to barely even see an iceberg um, it's concerning um, but we're going to take advantage of this opportunity and, and see what kind of uh, communities are living on the seafloor here that have been thriving in the sea ice. Oh, so clear. Listening for whales. Descending. 50 meters. I think I heard Godzilla. The water's too clear to get dark anyway. 120 meters. We're at 225. Sub detecting bottom. So most people are very surprised to learn that there is so much life under the waters around Antarctica. It is like a garden except that it is all animals and the diversity of shapes and the, just the weird and wonderful creatures that live there. It, it is just a pleasure to see and a privilege to be witness to. an incredible moment I and mean, of course you know, no one has been anywhere close to where we are today and at the same time it was impossible to not think about why we were able to be there and the fact is that climate change has been melting the sea ice here in Antarctica to the point where there is less sea ice here right now than there is any time in human history Diversity here was amazing. We ticked uh, every box. Look at that. Wow, they brought up everything on this rock. Rock drop stones are so important. And on there, and there's Briar's Owens encrusting on the rocks as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's loads. These are what drive the communities around here, these soft sediment communities are these rocks dropped by all the icebergs. So you get all these other animals living on the rocks and they attract all these other animals to it. It's incredible. Oh my gosh, okay. Ah, more fries over! Most of our life is probably down there and we should spend a lot more time thinking about that environment and how it matters to us as a planet. One of the most important things about Antarctica in the face of climate crisis is that the poles act as reflectors, sending heat back into the atmosphere. 
this expedition was far more successful than I think any of us expected. Nearly all of the dives that we conducted here will be strong candidates to be designated as vulnerable marine ecosystems and protected. There exist three proposals for marine protected areas. These proposals have been on the table for many, many years. We don't need any more science. What we need is public pressure to get them out of the political quagmire that they're in at the moment. I want the world's leaders to feel personally the responsibility that lies on their shoulders. We've run out of time for empty words and promises. Thank you.